What's up everybody and welcome back to our channel here at 360 Player. In this video series, we're giving you guys as coaches drill and session inspiration. Now in this episode, we've got a great finishing focused session for you guys if you want your teams to improve their finishing abilities. This is a great session that you could use with your team. If you wanna make any modifications, to these sessions that are in this video series. If you get the 360 player app, you can customize your training plans, add in your own drills, take away drills, adjust the times, coaching points, all those sorts of things. And you can really personalize it. If you wanna get started with 360 player, we do have a free trial. You can contact somebody through the link below and we can help you get started with that free trial. But with that being said, let's jump right into today's session. This session starts with a technical warmup, and you can choose between a lot of different technical warmups, but the one that we've specifically selected for this session is the slalom dribbling relay. The slalom dribbling relay is a great way to get players sharp on the ball before the session, and even though it's a finishing session, we don't really want our players to be ripping shots before they're properly warmed up. But this kind of warmup will get players sharp on the ball, dribbling around cones, having the chance to work on accuracy and ball control, and then as they're gradually warming up, you can turn this into a competition amongst teams where it turns into a relay relay race and then the teams that can get all their players down and back slalom dribbling through the cones first wins I know that players on my teams always love that competitive aspect and so having something that can start off with basic technical skills but then also towards the end of the warm-up having some competitive aspects can be very very fun once everybody on your team is warmed up and ready to go you can start with some more traditional finishing type of training now this first finishing drill we've got for you guys in this session is called three-tier shooting three-tier shooting is a great drill to help players work on different finishing techniques and basically with this drill you separate the players into three groups to start with everybody needs balls you go through balls extremely quickly in this drill but basically the players at the top of the line they dribble out have a shot on goal and as soon as they finish that shot they receive a pass from the players in one of the lines at the side try to finish that first touch and then they run up to the players that have the balls at the post who toss it in the air and they have to finish in the air whether it's a header volley anything like that so with this drill the players are working on long range shooting working on finishing from a pass and then also when the ball's in the air make sure players receive their balls after they shoot because like i said in this drill people can go through balls very 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 quickly and then have players rotate once they've gone through the gauntlet of having all those different finishing things rotating to the next line so that everybody gets a chance to work on shooting now if you have a large large team that you're working with say more than 15 players you might want to have a second goal so that you're doing this with multiple people because you don't want the lines to be too long you want to make sure that players are getting as many touches on the ball as possible the next drill in this session is a two versus one finishing game and this specific drill is called the Dortmund 2v1 finishing drill Now, basically you've got a line of players behind one goal and they're going to be attacking against another goal and then you've got lines of players on either side of the field. And how this drill starts is the players that start with the ball by the first goal, they decide to play a pass out to the players on one of the sides and the side that they choose becomes their teammate to help them in attack. The side that they do not choose becomes the defender that's trying to defend against them. Now two versus one is a great way for players to work on finishing because when you outnumber the opposition two to one, you're always gonna have that free player. So you can work on finishing, but you also have a little bit of added pressure when you have that defender that's trying to take the ball away and, and trying to stop the attackers from scoring. This adds a little bit level of difficulty versus the three tier shooting that we did before because there was no pressure from defenders. But now in the two versus one situations, attackers are feeling a little bit of pressure and they do have to try to finish with some time constraints. Again, just like three tier shooting, make sure players are rotating lines in this drill so that everybody's getting a chance to work on different aspects within the drill. Now the next part of this finishing session also deals with not only shooting, but also some aspects of crossing and finishing crosses that are coming in. So this is a three versus two drill, but also with winger crosses. Basically this starts off as a normal three versus two to goal where you have defenders on the post and three lines of attackers at the top of the box. And the defenders play a ball out to the attackers who play a normal three versus two to goal. And just like two versus one, when the attackers outnumber the defenders, they have that numerical advantage, which should give them more opportunities to get shots off on goal. Then of course, with two defenders instead of one, this does inherently get a little bit more difficult. So notice that throughout this session, we're gradually adding pressures and making it more and more difficult for the attackers to try to get their shots off and finish. Once the three versus two is completed, one of the wingers on one of the sides dribbles down the line and sends a cross into the box that the attackers try to finish on goal. Once that's done, a winger on the opposite side does the same thing. So basically for every three versus two group, there's three rounds. 
There's the normal three versus two round at first, and then across from either side before the players rotate and the next group of three attackers and the next group of two defenders comes on. So now throughout this training session, players have had an opportunity to work on finishing in a wide, wide variety of situations, but we haven't applied any of these finishing type things in an actual game-like situation. And that's why we're gonna end this training session with a small-sided game. The small-sided game that we chose for this session is called Defense Drops 2. And the reason why we chose this is because in this version of the small-sided game, whichever team is defending has to bring two players off over their own end line. And this gives the players that are attacking with the ball a numerical advantage, which should, in theory, help them to have more opportunities to try to finish and score on goal. Now it works like this. If you're playing a five versus five small sided game, the attacking team is gonna have all five players on the field, but the defending team, whichever team is on defense, has to drop two players off, so it becomes a five versus three. But you can use different numbers of players for this drill. Say, for example, you wanna play a seven versus seven small sided game, then the attacking team would have seven, and the team that's defending will only have five defenders. I always like to end sessions with some form of small-sided game because those are the skills that are gonna transfer most directly to an actual game-like situation. So with that, guys, that was it. That was the full 90-minute finishing session. We've got a ton more sessions within the 360 player drill and session libraries. So if you haven't checked out 360 player yet, I definitely recommend checking that out. We've also got a ton more videos in this series like Liverpool inspired training sessions, Manchester City inspired training sessions, and much, much more. So if you're not subscribed to us on YouTube or following us on Instagram for drill ideas there, go ahead and check us out. Hit the subscribe and follow buttons and we'll continue to give you guys great drill and session inspiration. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.